Welcome to Easy Science with Anavi, and today we'll be talking about the structure of cells. What are living creatures made up of? We're all made out of very small units called cells. Cells are the smallest and most basic unit of life, and every living creature has cells. All new cells can only be formed by the division of pre-existing cells. Each of these cells have several subcellular units. Hence, different types of living organisms have different types of cells. On a basic level, I will be introducing three main types of cells today. The animal cell, the plant cell, and the bacteria cell. The plant cell is found in living organisms like trees, grass, and flowers. The cell is surrounded by a cell wall which maintains the shape of the cell, gives it strength and prevents the cell from bursting. Next to the cell wall towards the interior of the cell is the cell membrane. The cell membrane controls which substances can enter and leave the cell such as nutrients. Inside the cell membrane is the cytoplasm which is a fluid which contains a large percentage of water and other substances. The cytoplasm is the location where chemical reactions take place. Then we have the nucleus, which is a compartment in the cytoplasm which contains genetic material or DNA. This genetic material is used to make proteins and to control the activities of the cell. There are also mitochondria in the cytoplasm, which have a double membrane and are used to produce energy for the cell using a process called aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration utilizes oxygen and glucose. Something that is very unique to plant cells are chloroplasts and chlorophyll. Chloroplasts have a green pigment in them called chlorophyll, which makes leaves appear green. Chloroplasts absorb light energy and convert it to chemical energy in the form of nutrients like glucose. Hence, a plant is able to produce its own food. It's important for every cell to produce proteins. An organelle used to do this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum with the ribosomes attached. Plant cells also have a large vacuole in the cytoplasm of the cell which is used to store nutrients and food in the form of cell sap. There are many different types of plant cells, each of which differ in their own way, such as xylem and phloem cells which are used in plant transport. However, this is the most basic plant structure we know. The second type of cell is an animal cell. It is very similar to a plant cell except that it doesn't have chloroplasts or a cell wall and its vacuoles are much smaller and temporary. Finally, the third cell type is a bacteria cell which is part of a group of cells called prokaryotic cells. The main difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells which include plant and animal cells is that prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. The bacteria cell shown here today will be an E. coli cell which is rod shaped. In the center of the cell is a nucleoid or circular loop of DNA. Even though bacterial cells do not have a nucleus, they still need genetic material to control the activities of the cell. The nucleoid is within the cytoplasm which serves approximately the same function as in eukaryotic cells. There are small food granules within the cytoplasm that can be digested and absorbed to be used as energy for the cell. There are also ribosomes within the cytoplasm, but these are not attached to any structure and are smaller than eukaryotic ribosomes. Plasmids in the cytoplasm are additional loops of DNA that give the cell extra properties like antibiotic resistance. Surrounding the cytoplasm is a cell membrane which controls which substances enter or exit the cell. Outside the cell membrane is a strong cell wall. On the outside of the cell are hair-like structures called pili which are used for attachment purposes. And finally, there are a small number of larger structures called flagella which are used for the movement of the cell. Dhanyavad.